In a long time, Yamakan was a king and queen living in a palace. He wished that God would give them a child or a child. After several years, God gave them a very beautiful child. The king held a ceremony to celebrate the birth of his princess. The girl wanted the first fairy to be the princess of the best fairy in the world, and the second fairy wished the princess had an angel mind, and wished the third fairy to be a graceful princess, and the fourth girl hoped to be a princess dancer, and the fifth hoped to be the voice of the princess beautiful singing, and the sixth wished to be the princess is skilled at playing when the seventh fairy began to wish, the old lady entered the hall, which the king did not invite to the ceremony. And because of her anger at not inviting her to this ceremony, she predicted the death of the princess when she was 16 years old because of a prick with her finger from the spinning machine. To weep for the future of the little princess. In this case, a good fairy intervened and told the king and his wife that the princess would not die but she would sleep 100 years. The king collected all the yarns in the kingdom and burned them to reassure his heart. When the princess was 16 years old and was playing with her dog in the palace garden, I said to the princess, try it on your own, and when the princess grabbed it and stuck it in the needle of the machine and fell to the ground, the old woman was the old lady. All the sadness in the palace, said the good fairy that it will make everyone in the palace sleeping with the princess so as not to panic the princess after 100 years when you wake up from sleep, and that awakened by a handsome prince. After a hundred years passed by the palace Prince Amir and asked an old man about the palace, the old man said that this palace inhabited by a dragon and dare not to enter, the prince entered and found him full of plants and giant trees, and unable to overcome, and in this in the meantime, the good fairy helped him and gave him a sword to kill the trees and kill the dragon. After all the trees were cut off, the prince appeared to the giant dragon. The prince fought with him and killed him. The dragon was the evil old fairy and all woke up in the palace. When I woke up, the king thanked the handsome prince for his action and told him what she wanted from me. Thank you for what I did. The prince said to the king that I want to marry your daughter the princess. The king agreed and he held a big party to celebrate the marriage of his daughter the princess of the brave prince. Thank you for watching do not forget to subscribe in the channel. Also share video with friends and press the like button.